Hey guys, my name is Sarah. And my name is Ryan, and today we celebrate Easter with Christ followers all over the world. It's actually the most important and amazing day for us as Christ followers. This is the day that Jesus rose from the grave after he gave his life for us. And so Christ followers all over the world are celebrating in different ways. Ryan, how does your family celebrate? Yeah, my family, there'd be about 20 of us. And usually on a Sunday, we'd go to different churches. But for Easter Sunday, we'd all go to the same service. We'd worship together. And then we would all go back to my mom and dad's house. And we'd have this huge meal together, play games, hang out, and have an amazing day. So it was awesome. That sounds awesome. We're going to watch this God story. And I'm sure we're going to hear the best news ever. Did you know that in 2015, a Canadian man was arrested after tying over a hundred balloons to a garden chair and flying over the city of Calgary? Hey everyone, it's Alyssa. When you were younger, did you ever think a few silly things? Mm. I know when I was little, I used to think that chocolate milk came from brown cows or that when there was a thunderstorm, it meant that angels were bowling. Now, you can imagine my surprise when I realized those things were not true at all. But my surprise is nothing in comparison to what Mary goes through in today's God story. She thought Jesus was dead, but in today's story, she learns that Jesus is alive. In this series, we've been in the book of John. We saw how Jesus went to dinner with his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And while there, Mary poured really expensive perfume on Jesus to show him extravagant Love. Then we heard a sad story about how Jesus was hurt. He was made fun of, he was whipped, he was betrayed by a friend, and he was crucified. That was a really sad story, but today is a happy one because the story didn't end there. We're gonna hear what happens next. Let's read from John 20. Early on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. It was still dark. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the entrance. Mary saw that there was no one in the tomb. She ran to Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, and told them, they've taken Jesus' body. I don't know where they put him. John found the strips of linen that Joseph and Nicodemus had wrapped Jesus' body in, lying on the ground. Then Peter walked right into the tomb. He found the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. John entered the tomb too. They still did not understand that Jesus had to rise from the dead. John and Peter went back to where they were staying, but not Mary. Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. As Mary cried, she bent over to look in the tomb. There, she saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body had been. The angels asked her, woman, why are you crying? Mary said, they have taken my Lord away. I don't know where they put him. Let's read what happened next. Then she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. So she said, sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him, then I will go and get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. All Jesus had to do was say her name. Mary turned to him and realized that it was Jesus. Teacher, she said. Imagine her surprise in seeing Jesus standing before her, alive. Jesus told her that she couldn't hold on to him for now because he had to go up to heaven to the Father. He told her to go to his disciples and those who believed in him to tell him that. Mary went to the disciples with the news. She said, I have seen the Lord. And she told them what he had told her. What an amazing, earth shattering, super awesome moment for Mary. She thought her friend, her teacher, her savior was dead, but that wasn't true. He was alive. Jesus is alive. And for us, even though we don't get to see him in person, we know that Jesus is alive. In the book of the Bible called Revelation, we read that Jesus was dead, but now he is alive forever and ever. We serve a living God, a God who defeated death, a God who loves us deeply. Today, we celebrate that Jesus is alive. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you next time. Three. Two, one. Quickly turn to the person next to you and discuss, discuss the following questions. questions. I said it first. No, you didn't. But seriously, turn to the person next to you and discuss the following questions. Question time! Who was the first person at the tomb to notice Jesus wasn't there? Peter? John? Mary? Or all of the above? Mary. Who's faster in a foot race? Peter or John? 
John! Mary was crying at the tomb, unsure of what had become of Jesus when... A man came by and told her to go home. A woman offered her a tissue. She mistook Jesus for a gardener. Or it started to rain. She mistook Jesus for a gardener. Game time! Stampede! Can you say the key verse before the stampede ends? Get ready! Three, two, one, go! Say it with me. Lead a life of love, just as Christ did. He loved us. He gave himself up for us. Ephesians 5, verse 2. Sarah, Alyssa absolutely nails it when she says that Jesus defeated death that he is alive forever and ever, and that he loves us so deeply. Absolutely. Do you remember when James White and his friends came together and they shared about their experiences at the times that they had been hurt? Well, this week, they're gonna share with us about the times that Jesus came through for them in a really cool way. Let's check this out. Okay, guys, I wanna hear some stories from you about how Jesus has been in your life and how he's met you in a difficult situation. Who wants to go first? I have one. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I was younger, I broke my collarbone, mm -hmm. and I was like really upset about it. And yeah. then I started like asking God, why didn't you let this happen to me? Like, I, like it really hurt. But then I realized God does everything for a reason, mm -hmm. so I knew there was something behind this. And then later that week, I found out that the girl across the street was recovering from a concussion and broke her toe. Oh, wow. So uh, since we weren't able to do anything because we were like had injuries, we hung out together and after that we became really good friends. Nice. That's great how God uh, used that tough, painful situation and you got a friend out of it. That's cool. Who wants to go next? Oh, I have a story. Okay. So um, my family moves a lot because of my dad's work mm -hmm. and we moved to places like Mozambique okay. in Africa. And some people are poor and don't have shelter or food. So God helped us through that. Mm -hmm. And um, we've also lived in Australia for a few months. Wow. And um, my friend said, never move to Australia because there are spiders and snakes who can eat you up. Yeah. But I don't think that like nothing happened to us because God protected us and he was there. So, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's really good. Thanks for sharing. That's good how he's able to yeah, protect you and be with you in those dangerous situations. Yeah. One more, who wants to share? I've got one. Um, well, when I was doing a test to enter high school in grade eight, um, I was against people who were really, really, really smart and intelligent. And I was really nervous, of course, because like this is a big test. Um, so God was there for me. He helped me through the test and I ended up getting into the high school. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. That's cool how God is able to meet us in all of our different situations, whether it be a challenging test or moving across the world and, <laughs> or facing snakes or um, breaking bones and being in pain. He's able to um, enter in all those situations because he's alive and he wants to be in our lives. So who wants to go get some pizza? You know what, Ryan? I remember when I was going through the exact same thing when I was trying to get into high schools. And it was such a big deal for Natasha to have to go through those different tests to get into the high school of her choice. But how amazing is it that she was praying through it and remembered that God was with her the whole entire time? Yeah, it's so cool. Even though she was experiencing such fierce competition, she trusted that God would help her. And it's so amazing hearing stories of our friends who trust Jesus will help them through difficult times and work things out for what is best for us. Exactly. Exactly. Jesus is alive and he is with us. Let's remember that. We're going to break up into our small groups and see what this looks like in our own lives. 